1949. Europe is still recovering from the Second World War. Everything needs to be rebuilt. To revive fundamental research and to stop the brain drain, Europe needs to equip itself with modern research facilities. Seul un laboratoire bien équipé attire les physiciens expérimentateurs, évite la dispersion des talents européens et suscite l'apparition des forces latentes. In 1952, under the auspices of UNESCO, the Conseil européen pour la recherche nucléaire is founded. The acronym CERN is born. The CERN Convention is signed in 1953. It stipulates that the research carried out must be purely scientific, not used for military applications, and that all results must be made public. In 1954, construction begins in the Geneva countryside, and the convention is ratified by the 12 founding countries. The European Organization for Nuclear Research is created, but the acronym CERN remains. Under the CERN model, physicists remain employed by their national institutes, but can use the tools that the organization provides. Each country is able to keep its best minds. The laboratory's activities develop quickly. The increasingly large accelerators soon extend into French territory, so CERN becomes the world's first cross-border laboratory an excellent symbol of science unconstrained by national borders. The purely scientific nature of the research attracts physicists from many nations, despite the political tensions between them. During the Cold War, CERN is one of the few places in the world where Western and Soviet scientists work side by side. Following the ideals of its founders, the laboratory contributes to strengthening peace in Europe. CERN's facilities also attract scientists from other continents. From the 1980s, LEP, the Large Electron-Positron Collider, and later its successor, the LHC, or Large Hadron Collider, each of a size and complexity never previously seen, mark a new stage in the globalization of particle physics. New countries appear on the map of CERN's collaborators. Talent and expertise know no boundaries. The components of the LHC and its experiments are manufactured by the best industries in the world. And in the other direction, the LHC sends its data to computing centers in dozens of different countries. Today, CERN is a truly cosmopolitan laboratory where more than 10,000 researchers of over 100 different nationalities exchange ideas and work together. Since 1954, CERN has allowed nations to communicate through the language of science. Its model of cooperation, originally dreamt up to rebuild Europe's research capabilities, has now become global and remains an example to others.